Hey what's up you guys, installing a trailer hitch on your Toyota Highlander can take you to some really cool places like camping, biking, or even towing a U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. So we're going to start off our install by removing this underbody panel on our driver's side. Now it's held in by seven different fasteners. There's three push pins. There's one right here, here, and here. There's three screws, one located here, here, and here. And then we have two plastic nuts located up here next to our frame rail. We're going to start by removing our push pins using a flathead screwdriver. And we'll use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the three screws. And we'll use a 12 millimeter socket for the plastic nuts. And now we can just pull this out of place. Now on the passenger side, we need to remove the push pin from this tab so we can get our hitch into place. We're just going to use a flathead screwdriver again. Now on the passenger side frame rail, we need to remove this bracket. There's two bolts that hold it into place. Our small one, we're going to use a 10 millimeter socket and the larger one, we're going to use a 17 millimeter socket to remove. And this will not be reinstalled. Now back on the driver's side, we're going to remove all of these plugs on the bottom of our frame rail. We're just going to use a flathead screwdriver to pop all those out. With all of those plugs removed, we now have access to all three of our weld nuts that we'll be using to attach our hitch on the driver's side. Now we're ready to bring our hitch into place. We're gonna be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. Now if you don't have a hitch jack, we recommend that you get an extra set of hands as this hitch is pretty heavy. Now as we bring our hitch up, we want to make sure we pull out our plastic tabs so our hitch stay behind them. And then we're going to bring it over our exhaust. Now we're ready to bring our hardware into place. It's exactly the same on both sides of our vehicle, but each side we have three bolts that come with our kit and each has a conical tooth washer. We want to make sure that the teeth on that are facing towards our hitch. and we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now with everything in place, we're ready to tighten and torque all of our bolts to the manufacturer specification. We're gonna be using a 19 millimeter socket for all of those bolts. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now if you want to reinstall your underbody panel, you need to modify it by cutting out two sections for it to fit around the hitch. Otherwise, you can completely leave your underbody panel off. Now, the two sections that you'll need to cut off if you want to reinstall this, there's one right here in the back, and then there's one right here towards the front. So we're going to use an air saw to cut out these two sections. With our cuts made, we're going to reinstall our underbody panel. Ah! 
and now we'll reinstall our two tabs from our bumper. With our hitch installed, we pulled our vehicle down onto level ground to show you some important measurements for your hitch accessories. This is a two inch receiver. From the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is two inches, and from the ground to the top of the receiver is 15 inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories, such as a bike rack and cargo carrier. So that wraps up our install and our video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.